Melina Melbourne and I live in Hobart in Tasmania and I've been running for Harlequin Milton Boone for nine years, eight years on the shelves and I write for the Presents line or Sexy line and also the Medicals. Um, I was 17 when I read my first Harlequin Mills and Boone um, just before I went, I was sitting for my um, year 12 exams and I got completely hooked. I just loved the happy ending, the the dialogue, I remember the book so well and just got swept away with the whole romance of it. Who would you recommend Mills and Boone to? Men. <laughs> <laughs> I think anyone who wants to have um, a read in which they can leave their worries of the world behind and just escape into a fantasy of um, falling in love and that wonderful feeling, what that, that, lovely, that lovely feeling that is. I sometimes sit in my office and I'll be writing a sex scene and, and I'll be thinking, this is so weird. I'm actually writing about people having sex. Like, who would have thought? You know, but it's not, they're not real people. They're, but they're real people to me. Like, they feel real to me. And so I'm, you know, writing about what it would feel like for him to kiss her or to for, you know, whoever who's put her point of view I'm in. And, you know, but I just get caught in the story and don't actually, I, I've stopped myself thinking about that. I don't let, allow sort of, you know, the, um, you know, perhaps the sort of disapproving auntie or the, you know, religious relatives or whatever, whoever would be saying, you know, oh, you can't write that, you know. Um, I just write what I think is appropriate for that, for those characters in that scene. Um, but it's not to, that's not to say that occasionally I, I'm out of the story enough to realise that this is weird. <laughs> I'm running about sex. <laughs>